Hey guys, it's New Year's Eve. Um, it looks like everything's on track for the plan. Um, looks like I will be getting my first tea injection tomorrow evening. Um, I don't know if I'll record anything else today or not, but um, in the event that this is my last pre-tea video, uh, this is how I sound pre-tea. Um, I haven't decided what I, what I want to do to celebrate tomorrow night. That's still kind of up in the air. Um, may call a few other friends today and see if they have plans and maybe we can all meet up together somewhere. Um, the more the merrier. Um, let's see. What should I talk about? I really don't know. <laughs> um, I'm so excited. You know? I mean, it's just... It's been a long time coming. Um, I've always considered myself male. Um... But I guess in the eyes of others, I've just always been considered, you know, a lesbian. A soft butch lesbian, I guess. Um, I have lived my life as a lesbian for the past 20 years. Um, I don't know, it's just like turning over a new leaf, I guess. Um, my mom and stepdad are very supportive. My mom's been calling me Justin since the minute I told her I was transgender and I was going to start tea. Um, she's been awesome. She's probably been the best about it where family's concerned. Um, My sister, um, she's, you know, she's trying, I guess. Um, I think she'll always consider me her sister, and she'll probably always call me Beth, and, and that's fine. I just, um, I hope as changes start to happen, um, that she... doesn't have an issue with anything that, that comes about. I don't think she will. I think, if anything, it's going to be hard for her to let go of the sister she's always known. Um, and I say that in the sake of appearance. Um... I still haven't told my father and my stepmother who live right around the corner from me. So that's going to be interesting. Um, but I think I'm going to just hold off until changes start to happen. And... I don't know. For some reason I think it'll be easier to talk to them about it once they actually get a glimpse of what's going on. Um... Maybe I'm naive in thinking that way, but I don't know. It's kind of like once it starts and there's nothing they can do about it, they might as well accept it kind of thing. That's the mindset I'm in where they're concerned. Um, I just don't want to be subjected to the whole extreme religion thing that I'm sure will come about from my stepmother. I love her dearly, and, you know, where religion is concerned to each his own, I think everybody has their own relationship with a higher power, um, and I don't knock what anybody believes. 
but I don't think that any one specific religion uh, is the right one. I, you know, I mean, I guess they all have their pros and cons and the way they handle things and their beliefs and, you know, whatever works for you, good for you. Um, but I just, I myself find her religion to be extremist and I try to avoid it as much as possible. Um, anyway, that being said, we are going to our big New Year's Eve party at our friend's house tonight. I'm hoping that the rain passes over. It's been raining all night and off and on this morning. Um, so I'm hoping it's gone by this evening so that it doesn't put a damper on our plans. Um, But yeah, uh, I'm not sure exactly what time I'll do my shot tomorrow. Um, Got to touch base and find out when we can all get together to do it. Um, but anyway, nonetheless, I'll be recording that and putting it on YouTube. Um, I don't know, I feel like I should be doing something special today. Did any of you feel that way? When you knew it was going to be your last, your last day as the person you were before? Does that sound crazy? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, technically, I'm just taking the next step into becoming the person I've always been, 